let's look at the stakeholders of a business or the people that are concerned with the business. Yeah, the, these are the categories of people that we were talking about in the in the stakeholders theory. Categories of people or groups of people. Yeah, first we have company owners. Company owners, whether a private individual or a shareholder, yeah, they are concerned with the organization, like how the organization operates and everything. So they are the first stakeholders of the business and they are the main stakeholders of the business because without them, the business will not exist, of course. So company owners are the first stakeholders. And then the, the second one, we have company workers. Company workers, these are employees who run the organization, who carry out the day-to-day -day activities. Yeah, then we have customers and potential customers of the company, people who buy the goods and services of the organization. They are also concerned with the business because if they are not there, the business will not have customers, so it will not make profits, and in the end, it will fall out. Yeah, so they're also important. Then we have the suppliers and potential suppliers of the company. Those who supply the resources, especially the raw materials, who, who supply the raw materials for production to the business. Yeah, they are important because if they're not there, the business will not get inputs, so it will not have output. Yeah, then we have everyone living in town who may be affected by contamination from workplace operations. Yeah, if you are living around, like around an organization or a factory, you're also a stakeholder. Because if you're not happy with the way they operate, you can go to court or you can do something and they stop operating. So you're also important. Everyone living in the town who may be affected by things from the workplace. Then... Another one, we have the stakeholders whose money or loan goods are mixed into the company. We have the creditors, people who give money to the business or people who, what, who lend the business. They are also important and their interest is to know about the liquidity the, the liquidity of the business or the financial performance and financial position to know whether the business will be able to pay them in the future. Then we have government entities involved in regulation and taxation. For example, URA, they are interested in the organization because they want to know the financial performance of the organization and know how much tax the organization is supposed to pay. Then other stakeholders we have is the local businesses that cater to company employees. For example, the restaurants where workers have lunch, grocery stores where employees, families shop and all that. They are all important to the business. Then we have other companies in the same line of work competing for market share, competitors. They are also stakeholders. Then lastly, we have other companies that may find themselves subjected to new and potentially burdensome regulations because of contamination of one plant. Other organizations that are in the same area, yeah, they may not be your competitors, but the, they, they, they may be affected because if you, if you pollute the environment as one organization they may put a rule for all organizations and they will be affected in the end yeah and from the above the first five are the most important and that is shareholders workers customers suppliers and then the 